But let's t- let's go to uh, John Le- Levi. Let's real go quick. to Levi. Yeah, the, the recent video, I think. Because, well, he's trending now, right? Okay. Guess, he, uh, yep. So first of all, he's trending because Eddie Bravo mentioned him on Rogan. Yikes. So, <laughs> yeah, you thought it was bad before, dude. He has this video. I'm going to put it on the screen. And he shows this picture and he says, this is the most important picture <laughs> in the world. He's got the classical music playing. Right. I think that's that's the huge appeal of a lot of these channels is, is the music that's playing like Archaics has the epic intro and all that. You know <laughs> yeah. what I mean? It's it's like the tap out aesthetic intro. <laughs> and this one, it's got the classical music. So you think you're so smart when you're watching it. But he says this is the most important picture or something in the world. And what he's talking, he's like, oh, mil- millions of bricks. Like, there's no way. There's no way people could stack bricks. But what he's really talking about is that if you see here, I don't know. I'm not sure if you guys can see my cursor, but the third one from the front, it's like looks a little different, right? And he's basically saying this is proof that it, that third one was plasma fried. And he used, he used the word proof. And someone tried to call me out on that and say he didn't say no. He 100 percent says proof. Yeah, he says it's proof of, of this that, picture. That. He says this picture is proof that. This is plasma fried, whatever that means. I don't know right. if he if he knows what it means, but sorry, he dude, a, a picture is not proof. All of these cylindrical towers all around, and yep. one of them is different than the other. It's like a little fucked up. And then this, well, what it is, if you look at, and you'll see this in this later in this video, that it's very clear that the man's a fucking moron, a complete fucking moron that yeah. that can't even do basic searches. On basic Hollywood mainstream big stories, he reveals how dumb he is in this video, which to me is hilarious. And it, it pro and I don't even think he could be that dumb. Yeah, well, I don't think he is. There's no way he is as dumb. I, as I he agree. Could. So anyway, let's so finish this if, part of it, and then we'll get to the second part of the so video. So if you look at more pictures of of this fort there in Pakistan, you can see that all those towers are backfilled with. With dirt and shit. There's bricks that build the tower. And then the towers are backfilled. And then so there's one tower where all the bricks fell off of it. And you can see the mud solidified behind it. Or the backfill or, or, you know, construction materials. You know, common backfill tech, you know, technique. It's just a pile of fucking dirt that the bricks fell off of. I mean, there's no fucking pl- there's no pl- plasma fied. What are you even talking about when you say plasma fied? Because regular fire is plasma, okay? So I thought that was like a NASA level proof where he just showed a picture and he said, This is proof. So what what you would really need to do is you would need to take this picture and figure out what like the local indigenous people say about it. Take this picture to like historians, archaeologists, uh you don't even have you don't even have to do that. You but just have just to look different you, experts though, like and no, see what they no, say, no, and then no, if you can no, debunk no, what they say. No, you don't even have to do that. You just have to look at a couple more pictures, and you can see that the towers around that fort are just filled with shit, dirt, you know, backfilled construction and material. He, he, what he does though is he makes the comparison Clay. between this. The, the one that he says is plasmified and what you find in the Southwest, like the mesas and everything. And then, then the motherfucker goes to the next level and says every single mountain over like 13,000 feet is a fucking tree is what he says. I don't know. He makes a bunch of like crazy ass claims like that. But well, I mean, I don't know anybody on that. Anybody still on that. No forest on flat fucking bullshit. I mean, come on. Yeah, and then he pours he pours the cement, and he's like, "Oh, I had such a hard time," or something. He's like, "You know, there's no way people could build this, or something, something like that." I wish I could, I wish I could play it. Oh um, yeah, he's pouring, he's pouring, he's getting some foundation. Yeah, and how, it's like, how okay, would it dude, been possible? Yeah. So uh, listen, what, listen, dude, you ne- probably never done this before. Not really. Imagine if you did that eight hours a day, every single day, you'd be an expert. And it didn't require any high technology. That's what, it didn't require any high technology. You had a wooden frame. You had concrete on something that has wheels on it. Okay, it doesn't have to be a diesel engine pulling this thing on wheels. It could be a horse pulling a buggy. It's one of the things they always go. 
well, how could you do this with horse and buggy? Or Watch a couple of them videos over there in fucking Pakistan where they take a damn cruise ship fucking crankshaft and turn it into a a whole goddamn engine or some shit. Like, and the, all they have is uh, <laughs> horse and buggy and all this shit. I don't, you, you watch those primitive repair videos? Uh, they're just insane. What yeah, you watch guys two come. two guys with a shovel can build a two two story hut <laughs> with a with a fire pit in the middle and a fucking swimming pool on the outside. Well, you know, well, th- you know, a lot of people say a lot of those are fake. Yeah, it probably is, but. There are a lot of them are, but if somebody these repair- did, if, like if you worked on that shit all day every day, the human being can just become an expert. But it, I mean, you look shit. at these repair, you look at these repair videos of in like Pakistan and Indian shit. What these guys are capable capable to do with such minimal stuff, it just blows me away. Like how they can rebuild uh, crankshafts, they can rebuild axles. Uh, they could turn a bunch of Coke cans into new pistons for engines, like just in a backyard little alley. These guys got sandals on. Uh, it's just insane. Like, and you, it's obviously not fake. Like, you can see the whole process through the whole thing. So, the amount of ingenuity that you could just visually see in these people, I mean, it, it, it's not, it's not beyond reason. Who, who cares if it's a horse and buggy? And, but that's another thing where they go and they just straw man the history, anyways. Like, because uh, they're focusing on all these like 1800s to to 1920s kind of buildings, like there was like a that was the industrial age. Like there's fucking trains and. But then anyway, what he does is after he talks about all this and what he always does, which is fine. I'm not I'm not hating on what he does. What he does is he just looks at pictures and then speculates, which is fine. Yeah, that's fine. It's cool. But then the the people in the comments and everything it becomes like, oh, this is the true alternative history or something like that. What we're doing here is like peer reviewed trutherism. Truther's stuff has become trutherism, and it's got it. There's got to be like pushback to keep the integrity of it. Otherwise, there's got to be pushback, and there's got to be debate on this stuff. Or else yeah, and like that's know. what I was saying when he was saying like this is proof. You need to figure out like what the official explanation of it is, or ask other. That's- professionals and see if he can like debunk what they're saying first or debate and that's step one and then anyway then he like you said he reveals himself to be either a retard or more likely a shill i think is out of nowhere this guy who talks about fucking ancient buildings and all this shit all of a sudden like a month after it was even hot he's talking about (laughs) Anne hache Anne hache (laughs) Anne hache oh this so random this (laughs) truck was on fire and so Anne Hay, she, uh, the, the, she sat up in the body bag. So, oh, you know she wasn't burned. And okay, dude, come on. This is like conspiracy one one. The camera is here above the ambulance for you to see this. The same way the camera was on the moon landing when they took off and went away, and the camera was there well, to film. Well, it. well, this was huge. This was like a month in ago. Like, this was a month ago. It was huge. And every- and everybody covered it. Yeah, like, every <laughs> yeah, every single thing covered it. And then what he says is like, oh, it was, it was very hard to find any information. Very hard on. to find any He's information. He's like, I found the, the, when I searched it, it said she was alive. And when I changed the parameters, they just quietly searched it till she was all <laughs> dead. Like, what are you talking about, dude? What, what, what are you what talking about, dude? What are you talking about, dude? That was the thing. Everybody made videos. Everybody how, covered it, dude. Everybody. The, Anne Heche was the lady. That got the house hit, remember? The same lady, yeah. and then they put a GoFundMe for her, and then they take her off the scene. It's the same fucking lady. Or oh, a yeah, twin it, or something. Right, right. And then it just plays <laughs> in the Q narrative, too, because she's, yeah, she she's was involved doing a, with Ellen. Yeah, and she was going to do, and like, a pedo do an documentary or something. Yeah, pedo document. Like, it was, it was, it was such huge, an dude. obvious... Huge. And how, an obvious how, psyop. Like, come on, dude. It, and then he, he's even showing his screen... That disproves what he's saying about the, he's well almost no media outlets seem to cover this. It seems that they just try to sweep <laughs> this under the rug. Yeah, and the whole right side of his thing is filled with Fox News, CNN, fucking TMZ. Like, what a weird pivot for Levi strange. to talk about that. But then when you realize it coincides with the Eddie Bravo shouting him out he, on he, he, Rogan, and he even he even makes a strange pivot. And he does this all the time. If people watch him and he you pick up on it, I know like Tartarian Truth. Uh, I that know he. Funny. No, he. 
Awesome. Everybody go and follow, follow uh, Tartarian Truth. And, like, what's hilarious about Tartarian Truth is that he doesn't even really have to change... Basically, it's verbatim of the videos he's parodying. Which is part of the, what we're saying is, like, I think these things are sardonic parodies from the get-go. But, like, Tartarian Truth can make a video that literally says the exact same thing that these videos say, but just in a slightly, like sarcastic voice and like it's obvious how stupid this shit is but like when uh Livy at the end of the video he's talking about Anne Heche and he's showing one of the videos where she's going and she she sits up randomly he just says oh here's a pretty rainbow and then he goes back to talking about what he's talking about like <laughs> he has all these weird weird little, little tangents code, little codes or something in there yeah little code drops is what they have to be. I mean, like, because it's an edited video. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh, why do you? Why do you? Why do you leave your random? You're like, oh, a butterfly. Oh, squirrel. Oh, like. <laughs> I don't get that at all. Where he's he all, he's he talking. Plays, it would be one thing if he talked about it like when it was current, but this is old. Old, old. No, no yeah, no. And then it's old. And then one. it. And everybody you coincided it. with the. And then you now act, he's on Rogan. Or then he's right. not on Rogan, but they mentioned Eddie Bravo mentioned Monrogo Rogan, and when you go to his comments, they're all like, "Oh, I'm here from Rogan." Eddie Bravo right. shouted you out on Rogan, and his subscribers go up. So to me, this would mean, if I had to guess, obviously a hundred percent speculation, which that's what he does. So I'm allowed to do it as well. I would say he's in some kind of network, or maybe he just recently joined a new network or something, and they say, "Okay, well, you got to bring it into the realm of the baby truther." Because that's, you know, nine. the regular person now is a baby truther. So they got to bring this, these like obvious FFs into this. And then they're like, hey, do this and we'll uh, bump you up by shouting you out on Rogan. Right. That's my guess.